You ever hear that Katy Perry song, Peacock? Um, I have not. I have heard the Katy Perry song, Dark Horse. I have heard um, California Girls. I have it on good authority that they're undeniable. I have heard um, Roar, Firework, I Kiss the Girl, Hot and Cold. That might be all of them. But that's more than you'd expect. Oh, Teenage Dream. You make me feel like I'm living a teenage dream. When you suck me off, I can't sleep. Cause I don't ever look back. Get your, get your heart on clean with your skin tight jeans, with your ripped up jeans. Tonight. I know that one. Absolutely. That's a classic. <clears throat> You're right. I also have heard Last Friday Night and also Waking Up in Vegas. I have heard both of those songs. Turns out I've heard more Katy Perry than I thought I'd heard. How many jeans is she wearing? I don't know, man. I didn't write the song. <laughs> You gotta listen to Peacock sometime? What are you talking about, Peacock? Peacock, they say. You gotta listen to Peacock. I don't get it. Plastic Bag? Excuse me, I mentioned Plastic Bag. The song is called Firework. My friends and I made a parody of I Kissed a Girl about finding some gum on the ground and eating it. Let me guess, okay? It goes a little something like this. I found some gum and I ate it. The taste of that... Little plastic. I... Something like that, maybe? Nailed it? I'll take it. I mean, just for coming right off the top of the head, I think it's not so bad. The taste of that dirty pavement. That's so good. It went... I chewed some gum and I liked it. The taste of its chocolate flavor. I found it on the bottom of my shoe. Hope I don't get any diseases. It doesn't even rhyme. There's not a single rhyme in the whole in the entire stanza. Also, chocolate gum? It's the flavor you think of when you think of gum is chocolate? I gotta be honest, you gotta take that one back to the to the damn drawing board. That one's you. You were not cooking on that one. I'm sorry. Don't quit your day job. I never said it was good. You got me there. I'm not trying to be a hater. I'm just giving you constructive criticism. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm taking it easy on the acapellas right now, just because, like yesterday, I felt fine, but after the stream, my voice was actually like a, like a 40-year-old chain smoker. Like when I was at daycare, people were talking to me, and I was like, yeah, yeah, we did a lot of body training this weekend, and they were looking at me like, oh no, he's like patient zero for the new daycare sickness. And I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm patient. I'm the terminal for the daycare sickness. I don't know how I got it. Probably some kid at the damn playground. His, he was on like his last day of being contagious, but his parents were like, I can't fucking stay inside anymore. Take me to the park. I just, just to feel the sweet breeze of fresh air is, it would give me life again. So they take their kid to the damn playground. Now I get their kid probably, you know, wiping their nose like this and then rubbing every piece of playground equipment all of a sudden I got it and now and, and now I'm killing it. Now I'll deal with it, okay? You can rely on the peacock, honey. It's a peacock and you've gone too far because he gets plus four, plus eight attack every time he gets hurt. See, lemons, lemons, don't make it too hard. Make it too hard. No, 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 no. You know, see, that's how you fucking do it. High and dry, out of the rain, it's so easy to kill others when you don't have hurt triggers, you, you know, it's Nyala. It's I Made You Look by Megan Trainer, but it's I Made You Cook. Wait, okay. Even with my cheddar corn, even with my parmesan, even... Hang on, with a son of son, I made you cook. I'm... Even with the boiler on, I made you cook. Ah, uh, that's that song's not good. Yeah, that's why we're making fun of it. That can work. You guys are just being haters. I understand. Those who can't do destroy. That's life. 
Even with your apron on. That's write that down. Write that down. Same people would be like, um, oh, Weird Al's my favorite artist. Oh, really? I'm so tacky. You already know. <laughs> I still remember I'm so thirsty, of course. I'm so thirsty, you already know. 64 ounces daily of high quality H2O. I can't believe it. I was told this was free wins. Are you addicted to Costco? Am I addicted to eating food? And getting a, a fucking sweet deal? Knowing, you know, the value of a dollar? Then yeah, I'd say I'm addicted. Sure, call me a, a dick. Still addicted to you. If you is Costco. Can't believe I'm buying more beavers here. Holy cow. <laughs> You're all gonna pay. You're all gonna pay, man. You're all gonna pay. Fave Gwen Stefani song? Great question. I'm gonna say, um... I mean, I'm gonna say you gotta give some props to Hollaback Girl. Spiderwebs is not a Gwen Stefani song. Spiderwebs is a No Doubt song. That's, that question becomes too easy if you allow No Doubt, because No Doubt actually has some good songs, whereas Gwen Stefani might have... It depends how you feel about Hollaback Girl, or the one that's like, You know I was a doodle goo totally sk doo 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 doo, -doo, -doo, -doo. And then it goes, woo woo But I, I kind of dig the marching band aesthetic of, the, of Hollaback Girl instead. New pop is not getting it done in the grocery store for me. I will say, when it comes to um, like picking a Peloton ride, which is the main way that I interface with music in the modern era, top of the list, if I see a 90s rock ride, that's going straight to the top of the priority queue. Number two, maybe like an artist series ride. If it's like, this is all songs by this person, and I'm like, oh, I like that person, I'll do the ride. Or I don't like that person. I skip. Then we're probably going down to like classic rock. And you always got to open it up. Because I can't fucking ride it to Def Leppard anymore. I don't want to ride to... Sometimes you open it up and you're like, Oh, there's some good like Fleetwood Mac on this. There's, there's some banging tracks. Sometimes you open it up and you're like, Oh my God, it's like... I, I really just can't hear Dream On by Aerosmith over and over. But the, at the bottom of the pool, whenever I... I mean, there's like variations on pop. Top of the pops... 90s, 70s, 60s, nothing against the 60s pop, but it's just like it doesn't necessarily get the blood pumping for an aerobic workout. 2000s pop, 2010s. I would rather listen to, sometimes there's a new pop ride, like just pop or like new tracks. I would put that above the 2010s because at least I can talk to Chad about these new songs that I've heard, but... 2010s pop, I just can't. Some I've got nothing against um, Dua Lipa. I got nothing against Charlie XCX. Everybody else in that genre, okay, Carly Rae Jepsen as well. Everybody else that released a song from 2010 to 2019 is for you. That this insults for you, okay? Because it's never like, oh, there's four Carly Rae Jepsen songs. It's always like 12 different Pink songs. And you're just like, oh, brother, I'm just, I'm so sick of these pink songs. I can't listen to any more, I can't listen to post-2008 pink. It's just not my tempo. I'm not trying to insult her. I know she's a, a, a high-selling artist. What about the 80s? 80s are up there. They usually have some Prince in the rides. I'll give some credit to Prince. No, they don't play a lot of Michael Jackson. I think that that must be a choice that they've made deliberately. I did an alley love ride earlier. It made me feel uncomfortable. Maybe you got to pitch your saddle down a little bit. Or do you mean like spiritually? She made me feel uncomfortable. Why? Because she said it's boss o'clock. It's time to boss up. She do be saying that from time to time. Okay, strong team. So hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. I'm set a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. See ya!